Good evening tonight. A school administrator in the South Valley is set to face criminal charges for what he allegedly did to a student involving the sharp blade of a box cutter. Tommy Lopez has more on what police are now accusing him of doing and how students and parents feel about it. There is a warrant out for the arrest of the head of the South Valley Academy Charter School. In an arrest warrant, officers say last month, director Richard Perea intimidated a student. Staff found a box cutter in the student's things, and in Perea's office, he insisted the student stand up. He walked toward the student and pointed the open blade of the box cutter very close to his neck and said, quote, boom jugular vein. Then he put his arm around the student's neck from behind and put the open blade against the student's neck, made contact, and slid it from one side to the other. He told the student, I'm going to show you what a Chicano man does. Two security officers were allegedly in the room. Staff believed the student had been vaping in a bathroom, and they found the box cutter when they searched their things. Officers wrote the student told Perea they used that box cutter at a job where they work at a nearby ranch through the school's service learning program. The student acknowledged Acknowledged they should not have had that at the school. Perea is set to face charges for aggravated battery, aggravated assault, and child abuse. I was Chuck. It's kind of scary. We spoke with parents and students today after school. Many say the allegations have been difficult to handle. It was shocking. It was very shocking to me. Um, I did not ever think that they, this would happen here. When I found out, I was kind of shocked about it. The students we spoke with haven't seen Perea at the school in a few days. Many believe he should not return to his position. It's their school. They have to take care of the kids. But then I was like, oh, I hope they arrest him. Shocking. It was pretty shocking. I didn't think somebody that high of a, of a position to do that. Many students say simply there were better ways to handle it. I honestly think it's really wrong what he did. I mean, he probably thought he was doing it as a positive way of like think, thinking of, oh, like how bad do you think this could be or no? But honestly, I mean, you're the principal of the school. You can't really do that, you know? He made a, a wrong decision. I didn't think he meant it that way, but it was very wrong of an adult to do something like that. But he acted childish. Charter school governing council members did not get back to us on a request for comment. An Albuquerque Public School spokesperson said the district can't comment because it's not involved in the day-to-day -day operations of charter schools. Tommy Lopez, KOB4. And according to online records, law enforcement so far have not arrested Perea.